Wrestling fans. Hey, this is going to kill Fernando. You're watching Pro Wrestling Hi, this is Brad from Pro Wrestling Junkies, and welcome to another episode of Show and Tell. Today's guest is a returning guest, is T.W. Hamilton. How are you? Hi, nice to see you again, Brad. Hope all is well. And I know you guys really liked the last show. Um, I, in addition to what you plugged in your own site, I um, posted on my YouTube channel too, and a lot of people loved it. So they're gonna oh, fantastic! They're gonna be subscribing more to you guys too at, at Pro Wrestling Junkies. So since we we last spoke, I don't know, was it two, three weeks ago? Maybe um, I don't remember. Have you added? Um, a substantial number uh, of autographed eight by tens to your collection. Not, not substantial, but I have gotten a few more though. So um, okay, I do remember one in particular that was um, you know it would affect the chronological order we left off. This in. is Craig DeGeorge. He was a guy who did like interviews and stuff like that um, yeah. back in the eighties. So this is a cool. I totally picture. remember him. You don't, you do remember him or don't? Oh no, of course I do. Okay, yeah, he wasn't around too. Maybe he's only there maybe a year. He wasn't around. So this is around the time of WrestleMania four. So this guy made a picture for me. It's cool. Of um the WrestleMania four, like you know, like what do you call them? The reports or the control center. And he signed. Yeah, yeah, he wrote, yeah. He wrote to Todd, my very best wishes and all the best to you, Craig to George. So it was personalized oh, to nice. me. So I was like, that was like one of the through the mail ones as we were talking about that last time. Oh, that's right. And then we'll just pick up where we left off. So we last did the Dungeon of Doom, and you know, if we need another part, we'll keep going. You know, I'm sure the fans love this stuff, so they'll sure, you know. <laughs> of course. And then any comments or if you get feedback from people during the week when they look at the video, you let me know, okay? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. All right, so we'll start with the next one. This is the a United States title picture of Dustin Rhodes. Remember, um, you know, a young one. Back. So it's even inscribed Dustin Rhodes, U.S. champion. And then, of course, after Dustin, we got the dad, Dusty. This is a black and white one. Oh, wow. When did you get that one? I would say a couple years ago. It was actually off of um, – a website that uh they did some fan fest thing or something like that in the summer that's where they got okay that. this H is another dusty, dusty road this is like the american dream one dusty roads oh yeah did, did did he passed away uh when you got those um so i, I might have already had one of them i have three here so this is the third one i think i may have had one of them before when he was alive but the other two yeah it was after he passed away now let me ask you a, a naive question here sure do the values go up when somebody, you know, unfortunately passes away? Yeah, sa sadly they do because then a lot of people use the excuse, um, you know, can't get them anymore. And Got it. Um, unfortunately, some of the vendors are very cruel about that. They try to make a quick buck on that. So as soon as the guy dies, they'll raise their price and just showcase it. It's like it's Crazy. really that's a distasteful course. Are you agree with that? Yeah. But there are some guys. And this 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 last one I showed you. This one, the suit is like a magazine page one. Okay. Oh, nice. This is Dirty Dutch Mantel. Oh, wow. He does look filthy. And here's a second one of him. This is like a magazine page one. He looks like Mick Foley. Or, I mean, <laughs> Cactus Jack. He's very hairy, isn't he? <laughs> he also was um, he was a manager, too, the WWF. Remember Uncle Zeb Micaia and then Zeb Coulter later? So like, Yeah, he, sure. Yeah. This is Devon Dudley. Okay. This is the... Um, Dynamic Dudes, which were Shane Douglas and John Laranias. So they wrote Dynamic Dudes, the franchise Shane Douglas. And then Johnny Ace was their guy's name, John Laranitis. I wasn't a fan of either, but that's a really cool one. That's a cool picture. Yeah, you don't see yeah. any of, these of them together. And then he even signed, like I'm saying, like especially with um, John, he actually signed his old gimmick, Johnny Ace. I don't think you see too many of those graphs out there. That's kind of rare. Yeah, that's a nice one. Um, this is a nice one, too. This is the Dynamite Kid from the British Bulldogs. He passed away about, what, maybe a year ago or so? A year and a half ago? Oh, wow. Th that is, is that one hard to get? Um, Yeah, he's pretty he hard was, to get. I, yeah, he was very... When I got his, there was a, there was a second one of him. When I got him, he was alive, though. So this is another Dynamite. Okay. And for this, how did you acquire these two? These ones came from um, reputable sellers. That's what I okay. Because okay. he, he lived in, um, I think he actually did live in the UK or Canada or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, it's, it's harder internationally. So that's why I got it through. Um, yeah. Other people. One of them, in fact, I think this one came from the vendor called Legends of the Ring. They're based out of New Jersey. And they mm -hmm. um, they might have even done a signing with him at some point or something like that. Oh, okay. Um, the referee, Earl Hebner. Yeah. I think last week I showed the combo, right, with him and Dave, with the cool mm -hmm. picture of the main event. So that was a nice one. Here's a tough one to get, Earthquake. Oh, yeah. 
He passed away too, John Tenta. Yeah, he passed away a long time ago. Like, I think it was maybe 2006. Mm -hmm. Shortly before he died, though, I was on the. Um, you ever hear that wrestling website called WrestleCrap.com? Yeah, of course. Yeah, there's a guy named R.D. Reynolds and uh -huh. a second guy, Blay Braxton. Yeah, they kind of ran it. And he was uh -huh. actually interacting with his fans, like about his last. I was say it's like last two years. I was talking like oh four, oh five. Like I would do emails or I'd see him in the message boards. So he was very nice and interactive with his fans. Oh, oh that's really cool. All right, this is um this is Eddie Gilbert and Cactus Jack. Eddie Gilbert is kind of a rare graph because um you know he's been dead for many years. He may die yeah. in ninety five, so it's a nice bloody one. This one oh, came wow. from um Rob Feinstein, who uh, mm -hmm. you know, the guy does aura videos and stuff like yeah. that. This is a second Eddie Gilbert one. This one's a magazine page. Mm-hmm. And speaking of Eddie's, we have another rare Eddie, Eddie Guerrero. Oh. This is when he's in WCW. And then mm -hmm. I think I have a WWF one, too. Yeah, I have a WWF one, too, from, like, WrestleMania 17. Do you have any type of, like, catalog of what you have? Like a like a database? No, I keep track that of that. you could, like, my, quickly go through? For my wrestling DVDs, I have that. Mm -hmm. Okay. But for the, um, the 8x10s, I don't. But like I said, look, look at the, I have these in chronological order. So it's Yeah, yeah. Really the only harder thing would be like the ones where I said, you know, I have the double signature. You have to think about that I put under this guy's name or the other guy's name. Yeah. This is someone I don't know her too well. She apparently lives close to me, like maybe five minutes away, though. She was in uh -huh. ECW. Her name was Electra. Okay. Was she, a, sure. was she a wrestler sure. or a dancer? She might be like a manager. She was in ECW, I guess, towards the end. I didn't really watch ECW towards the end, but, um, you know, so one of the vendors was selling her graph pretty cheap one day. I picked it up. And she also, mm. like I said, I found out she lives like a t like one or two towns away from me. She's pretty close. This is one I'm sure a lot of people love to have. This is Miss Elizabeth, a nice picture. This must be from WrestleMania 4 um, after yeah. Macho Man won the title. So, yeah, she has the, the world belt around her shoulder. Is that one expensive? Yeah, she's expensive now. Like I said, luckily I bought some of these. All Elizabeths I got before COVID, but right now they're really going high though for her. Oh my god! Um, I, I have a couple that. Elizabeths though. So this is nice. This is a WCW promo one. This is another Elizabeth. This is like when the time period she's managing Lex, maybe, or maybe she's in the NWO. Or something yeah, like, like NWO ish, I think. And then this is a third one. This is definitely from like NWO time, or maybe yeah. she's a horseman and Flair. So there's three Elizabeths I have. So that's, that's that's good. I have a couple of her, and I didn't did, get killed on it because I got it years ago. So. Did you get them all at the same time? No. Okay. Yeah, that probably would been costly even back then. But like I said, yeah, yeah, luckily sure. when I pay for these three, probably most of you are paying for one these days. That's the way the price is. Oh, God. All right, this is a girl. Um, Her name is Emma. She might be using some other name Daniel now. Daniel Dashwood. That's it. That's it. You got yeah. it. Yeah. So you're familiar with her. Of course. Um, This is a nice one. This is Eric Bischoff when he was in WCW. He's like the young announcer and stuff like that. Oh, that's really funny. A cool promo picture. Um. This one's a kind of one. Not too many people have him. Is Eric Watts? He was the son of Bill Watts, and he was one half of um, Techno Team Two Thousand. I forgot about him. Yeah, and that, that's actually one eight by ten. I don't have. If someone ever has Techno Team Two Thousand with him and his partner Chad Fortune, let me know. I'd be interested in getting that. I don't have one. Like I that. don't think someone can pull off that jacket in two thousand twenty one. He's nuts. That is. That is. Yeah, that's a little. That's a little freaky, right? <laughs> This is another double signature one. It's got Sonny Ono. As that one's clear. And then the Cat Ernest Miller's on the top over here. Oh, okay. Is that like silverish? Yeah. So he's like silverish on top. And Ono, okay. that one's pretty clear. You can see it well. So. Uh -huh. All right. S.A. Rios. Remember him? Lead Imagine briefly, too. Uh-huh. Remember Eugene, uh, the guy who like played the special ed kind of oh, game? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know how they got that. away with that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that was a crazy story. Um, What's this girl's name again? Oh, I think it's – was it e e Eve or Eva or something? Yeah, like uh, – is it was it Eva Marie or something? Yeah, that's it. Eva the one Marie. with the red hair? That's it. That's it. You know okay. That. So I'm trying to think. Is there an alphabetical order? If I have heard Eugene, it's got to be <laughs> Eva. Yeah, You're right. That's her. Uh, Evan Bourne, um, signed right here. It's a little, I guess it's in silver. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Here, yeah. All Do right, you ever, this, this is Eve Torres. And you go ahead, your question. Do you, um, do you ever, uh, have or not have control over what ink they're going to use? Yeah, because like I said, some of it I get from vendors and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, if, I, if, I, if I meet them, though, I think usually I do have a choice. Though, unless they're really in a rush, then they might just... Okay, got it. It depends on what you're going to. I guess if it's like your personal thing you're paying a lot for, they'll do it. Okay. If it's like a book signing, they might be more like rushed, though. Yeah, sure. This is Ezekiel Jackson. 
this is an interesting one. Remember Farouk? But this is like when he was the first debut. He was with Sunny, and he was like the gladiator gimmick. Farouk Asad. Wow. So not too many of those He's kind of ones around. Huge. This is a nice combo one. This is signed by Fabulous Mula on top. You can see that. And then on the left, Harley Race. Nick Bockwinkle's in the picture too. Some people uh -huh. have this picture signed by all three. I only have the two of them signed it, but at least, you know, it's, it's still good enough. I think all three are dead now, actually. I'd be happy with just the two. Yeah, so that's good. That's cool. Uh, oh, this is a new one I actually got since we last talked. So you're, you're, you're asking about that. This, oh, is, nice. this is the Fabulous Ones, which was Steve Kern. Uh -huh. and can't stand lane so they signed oh actually no they signed in the wrong spots oh, oh did this, they really yeah i think this is steve kerr and this is stan lane i think <laughs> so they signed. that's hilarious oh wait no no no, no they did it right i'm wrong <laughs> okay they did it right they did it right i actually do have a picture like that you'll maybe you'll see it today i think it's fondango and summer red is that the one? Oh, that's the lady one right? this is fondango uh -huh. and this is summer ray uh tilted the right way okay so they, they both signed that one. Oh, nice I think I have another one of them. Maybe it's under Summer Ray's name, where they, they actually signed under the wrong spots. All right, this is a rare one, too. This is one fought two with that gimmick called Time to Make a Difference fought two, like a 95, mm -hmm. 96. All right, this is Fifi the Maid. Uh, you know, the guy, she's, I think she's actually with Flair again, like as far as like married or dating or something. Mm -hmm. so this came from oh, a company right. called High Spots. They're a big name yeah. company that brings guys in. Let me ask you a question. Sure. Is, do you have any. Um, limits on what you'll get like is it only people who've been in like wwe and wcw like do, do you have no, no specific limit but yeah okay I'm, I'm mainly collecting like for the most part i'm getting people from the 80s 90s and 2000s from wwf and wcw and ecw sure but you'll see you'll see a couple other ones there too and even more current though i don't follow it much though especially mm -hmm. the girls i try to just collect them because it's nice to have like yeah you know, nice collection. <laughs> But yeah, no, no, no specific limit. But if I if I didn't hear of you at all, though, there's really no point though in me going going for it unless it's like really cheap or something. Sure. All right, this is Finley. Mm -hmm. So this is a nice one because some of his signatures are really rushed and crap. This one's came out pretty good. Uh, this is Flash Funk. Remember? Um, oh it? yeah. Too cold Scorpio. He played Flash Funk. So yeah, it's that's right. right. Here in blue. All right, this is a nice one. I'm actually going to get a couple more of these soon. This is the Four Horsemen signed by everybody. So we got Ole Anderson. We got Tully Blanchard. We got J.J. Dillon. Ric Flair, of course, and Arn Anderson. And there's That's actually cool. a, guy, a guy gave me a good deal. He's got some other Horsemen stuff. Mm -hmm. And I bought two more photos of him. So probably next time I'll be able to show you the other Horsemen. They might not be all the same members. Like I think one of them has like Sid and Barry Windham. Mm -hmm. There's more Four Horsemen combos like where they're signed by like almost everybody. So this is really nice. What was the most expensive um, uh, piece signed by all four uh, and um, th that you've seen? Um, you know, with and JJ Dillon, I'm sorry. I did see, yeah, a couple years ago, I saw someone had a SummerSlam 91 poster mm -hmm. and it was signed by Warrior, Savage, Hogan, and Elizabeth. Um, I think Warrior might have still been alive at the time, but Savage and Elizabeth were both dead, though. Oh, me. my God. I'm not sure. Warrior might have been dead too. If, if he is, that was three out of four. It was pretty close. To that. <laughs> this was a while ago. This is Francine from um, ECW. Yeah. This is another Francine one. Jesus. That's Bikini Egg. It's very revealing. <laughs> She's actually still very pretty today. She does a lot of these um, shows. Oh, with right. She's aged well. Yeah. This one's a PSA certified it's Francine and Shane Douglas combo. I like that. Um, this was a like a you know low card jobber guy from WCW. His name was Frankie Lancaster. So he's he's probably pretty tough to get. Not many people probably have him. Yeah. Frankie now is that Lane. one? Did you did you uh, write to him? That one I got from um, that friend I told you about from Ohio. It was like a photographer. Sure. He helped me mm -hmm. get that one. Wow. He also helped me get this one too. I think this is a nice one. It's classy Freddie Blassie, an original promo picture, and it says "Best wishes from Freddie Blassie, 1997." Oh, that's, that's really that's, that's a really, nice, a really picture, yeah. nice one. It's a nice one, yeah. All right, um, this one I got relatively recently, maybe a few months ago. It's it's the Freebirds, but all three members, including Buddy Roberts, who died. So it's mm -hmm. got Buddy Roberts, Jimmy Garvin, and Michael Haynes all signing this. And I have a second Freebird one. This is just Michael Haynes and Jimmy Garvin. Pretty cool mm -hmm. picture in the ring. Um, one of my friends, the guy who, another guy who's a photographer, he's from Philadelphia. Um, he's actually really good friends with Jimmy Garvin. He introduced me to him at a convention. I got to talk to him for free and stuff. It's pretty nice. Oh, so. that's really cool. 
This is Frenchie, the guy who managed Dino Bravo. <laughs> Remember last week I showed you Bravo? I used to have uh -huh. a couple of them, but then I had to like trade it back to get some other good stuff. But okay. um, I still have each of them solo though. You saw Bravo last week, and here's Frenchie this week. How often are you trading stuff away? Not too often. Okay. Not, Does that have to be? Especially now when I have so much, I'm not really looking for too much more. Okay. But, um, you know, if there's someone that's got some really cool rare stuff, though, then I would, you know, consider it. But, I, you know, okay. usually my personal collection, I like to try to keep stuff. Yeah, of course. You never know. That's why I have to, though, because it's like I can't – there's no other way you won't give in unless I give up something good. Yeah. All right. This is – you know, Bastion Booger had a brief gimmick. It lasted like a match or two. It's called Fryer Ferguson from 93. Oh, so I didn't is, even know that. It's the Fryer Ferguson. Yeah, he was actually a baby face. What you do is you like spray holy water at people, and he's supposed to feud with like with Bam Bam or something like that. It looked like Bastion Booger dressed up as uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, he's like a monk or something like that. Yeah. Kind of. All right, this is the FBI. It's signed by three members, so it's Chuck Palumbo, mm -hmm. Nunzio, and Johnny the Bull Stamboli. So all three of them signed this. <laughs> nice picture. Uh, speaking of FBI, we got two more members. We got this time it's got Vito, another mm -hmm. one with Nunzio in it. Okay, another combo. Remember Funaki, SmackDown's greatest announcer? Sure, sure. I actually Funaki. used to have two, but I sold to somebody. I had a Kung Funaki one, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a nice one. It's the Funk Brothers, so it's Terry and Dory Funk. Okay, so Dory Funk signed here, Terry over there. Nice. Nice Funk Brother combo. Mm-hmm. All right, we got Gail Kim. Oh, cool. Gangrel, he's a pretty cool guy. He does some signings and appears on some shows sometimes. Uh, this is the Gangsters. So it's... Um, oh, cool. Yeah, Mustafa, who's kind of rarer graph right down there. Mm -hmm. And then up here is New Jack. Is New Jack an easy autograph to get? Um, I think he's kind of in the middle. But he, he, okay. if you meet in person, he's, he's crazy, though. So be careful. <laughs> Why does he say... Uh, like, I just saw him at some TV shows. And so he was like going like, to look like he's going to go flip out on some people. So, oh, um, okay, yeah. okay. This is um this guy's dead. He was Garrison K. He didn't live that long. Remember he um he teamed up with Trevor Murdoch. Garrison yeah, that's K. right. Totally. Um, Mark Jindrak's in this photo too, but he didn't sign this one. I have a Jindrak autograph, but he didn't sign this one. Just is just okay. Garrison. K. They teamed up briefly before he teamed up with Murdoch. Um, that was like 2003, if I remember right. This is Gene Snitsky, the guy who said like it's not my fault. Yeah. Does he have eyebrows in that one? Uh, yeah, he does. Yes, yeah, okay. this, this is when he had eyebrows. So that was before that. This is a low card guy who's funny. His name's George South. He like kind of like a jobber in the WWF and WCW for years. Uh huh. There's actually a video of him online. Like someone had like old VHS tapes, and he dumped jumped into a dumpster to go get them and get old school wrestling footage. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's, on, it's on YouTube at some point. This is George Steele. So he wrote oh, George mine. Steele, the animal. Yeah, he's got the mind doll too. The mind doll is actually really – I don't have it, but the mind doll is really valuable. If you ever find one, you should definitely hold on to it because that's – Oh, really? Yeah. It's hard to get that mind doll. <laughs> and here's a second one of him. He's got the mind doll. He's by, by some waterfront place which says, <laughs> what a great team, George Steele, the animal. Wait, is he surfing or just uh, standing by the water? No, he's standing by the rocks okay. like, by, by water. Yeah. Okay, okay. At first, I started thinking about it like you said. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I <laughs> Um, this is Gerald Briscoe. I think he's still alive, actually. He does. Yeah. The, um, he works at some car body shop. I wrote to him through the mail before. Um, Big Show has the giant, so that's not as easy to get him signed yeah. as giant. And speaking of giant, we got the giant Gonzalez. That's a remember. Remember him? Oh he's yeah, tall. of course. He's really seven foot seven, but they say eight feet tall. <laughs> Um, another giant this is a combo one. This is Giant Silva, the guy who was in the oddities. Yeah, yeah. And Sunny signed the one too. She's the referee. So this must be some like independent show or something. This photo. Yeah, too. totally. I've never seen him with that look. Yeah, and look, and look, look, look how tall. Like this must be some, you know, like crappy like a monster. Thing. His head is like, as tall as the ceiling, pretty much. In this, <laughs> it's like in Game of Thrones. Like, um, well. Go on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What about Game of Thrones? No, there was like a character. Whatever you want to talk, I'm fine. It doesn't matter to me. Who was who was massive? I, I forget if he was the mountain or something, yeah. and he just made everyone look tiny. Go on. You don't forget. If, if we just do an hour, I'm cool with um, as many parts as you need. We'll keep coming back to finish this. <laughs> sure, Maybe. sure. No, we got some time. All right. This is Giant Gonzalez. You no, know, he, he was in WCW. He's called El Gigante. So this is the same guy, Giant Gonzalez, but he was in WCW as El Gigante. Uh -huh. He signed it El Gigante. 
It wasn't a very creative name they gave him. But... Yeah, it basically just means the giant is spent. Like, yeah, totally. This is Gilbert. I actually wrote to him from the mail a few weeks ago. Hopefully, I'll get it back. I sent him like the bigger envelope that supplies 8x10s, but I don't mm. have one. Okay. But he, he had this gimmick in WWF. You might have seen the recent DVD. It's called WWE Unreleased 86 to 95. And he had this gimmick called Toxic Turtles. They dress up like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, really? I've seen some people, a couple people have his photo. So I was hoping maybe he might have one. I don't know if he does. Took a chance and just sent it to him. So we'll see if he ever sends it back. But that'd be cool if I can get that photo signed. Is this DVD you're talking about? Is this the one that came out a couple of years ago? Yes. It's got like dark matches and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. There's no commentary. Yes. Yes. It's a great DVD, it. actually. I love that. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a match of him as a Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtle. I want to get a picture or sign like that. Oh, I gotta go back and watch that. Yeah. This is Glacier. And this is a second Glacier. This is one he sent back to me in the mail, so he personalized this one. So it said, Todd, thank you for being a pro wrestling fan. Be cool, Glacier. Okay. Oh, that was really nice. Was nice what was the turnaround time on that? Probably a couple weeks, maybe a month. I'm trying nice. to remember that. It's, it's hard to keep track. I wrote this yeah, something. Yeah, I imagine. All right. This is Leilani Kai and yeah. Judy Martin. They were called the Glamour Girls in the WWF. Yeah, They're the women's I like that. champions. So you see them with the belts. It's a cool one. It's a cool one, yeah. This one's rare too. This was Hector Guerrero as the Gobbly Gooker. It's signed right here is like I think you see a little bit. Yeah, it says Yeah, what is he signing it? He just is Gobbly Gooker? He wrote the Gooker, that's it. Oh. But I, I, I don't. It is. I, don't I really. Don't, I've never seen these on eBay. I don't think you're really going to find these. This is very no. rare. No. Did you now? How did you like come across that? That was again from one of the guys like I'm friendly with. That's one of the photographers, and okay. he happened to have that. Yeah. So that's oh. I, so we either bought or I maybe mean, I bought a lot from him. He gave me a good deal. I'm trying to remember now. Okay. Um. This is the Godfather, the Intercontinental Champion. Awesome. This in, this one's signed by a few people. So this is when Vinius Godwin, like he had enough of Sonny, and he finally slapped her. <laughs> so it's signed by both Godwins and Sonny. Oh wow, I like so, that picture too. Nice picture, like I yeah. like the uh, the wording on there. Yeah, it says Sonny, one so true, I slapped you, and then it says Vinius <laughs> Godwin, Henry O. Godwin, Hog Farmer, and Sonny. So. Oh, he wrote Hog Farmer on there. He wrote H O G actually Hog. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, we got Goldust. We got the goon. All right, these next two are pretty rare. This is Gordon Soley. I got this one probably a few months ago from a oh, nice wow. guy. Um, that signature is very small. Very small, about 100 bucks because he's so hard to get, though. Yeah, yeah, I bet. And this one was from Gorilla Monsoon. This is Gorilla Monsoon. This is nice. So, like, um, it says, To all my fans, you're in sport, Gorilla Monsoon. His daughter helped me get this, actually. So, it was really nice. How did you, you wrote to her? Um, I talked to her and she helped me get me this. It was really Got nice. Of her. I appreciated it. And she even gave me his business card too. Look at this in the back. It's his old school business card from when he was in the. Oh, arena. that is really cool. So it says Robert James Morella, Grill Monsoon Agent, Titan Sports Inc. It's got his phone number and all that stuff. It's cool. That's awesome. All right. This is the great Kali. This is the great Muta. Remember him in WCW? Mm hmm. And Japan, of course. This is – I didn't really grow up seeing this guy, but he's a big deal like in AWA. He's Vern Gagne's son, Greg Gagne. Yeah, yeah. Teamed up with Jim Brunzel, too. This yeah. Is Greg, this is Greg the Hammer Valentine. Oh, nice. And on the back of magazine page, one of Valentine. Oh, awesome. All right. This is a rare tag team from like maybe 2006 or seven or so. They're called the Gemini. They're managed by Simon Dean. Hmm. They were oh, okay. Yeah, I remember Jake, that gimmick. Jake and something. It was Jake and Jesse. I forget their names exactly. They were – it was like Simon Dean would like bring a whistle and come out on a scooter and manage them kind of. <laughs> this was Haku, like more of like his um, you know, later later years when he yeah. had like Afro and also he looked like when he was kind of like – What May. did he sign it as? Did he sign as Haku or uh, – yeah, he, he signed as Haku, but it says something else here too. I don't know if this says Ming. It's something in M, but Haku Oh, yeah, here. it's probably Ming. He may write both. He might write like Ming, a.k.a. Haku or something. Oh, okay. All right, this is like one of the one of the ones he was younger. So this is a combination of Bobby Heenan with King Haku. So they both signed it. Oh, that one's awesome. I love that. That one's pretty awesome, yeah. What's your favorite so far? Is it still Akeem and Slecky uh, thing? I love the – oh, nice. I it's love Hakushi. the um, Miss Elizabeth ones, uh, okay. especially the first one you showed. Yeah, the belt, yeah. Yeah, that would be the one when I rob you. I'm going to take that one too. <laughs> 
And this is Hardcore High. This is one he wrote. He sent me through free when he wrote him in the mail. So he wrote me a little note. It says, wow. to tell him all the best to you, Hardcore Holly. Um, Hardy Boy combo. See how Jeff always makes those weird symbols and things like that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, There's a nice one. Harley Race. I met him in person. Oh, really? Where? I was at a wrestling convention in New Jersey in 2012. I was supposed to meet him and Vader together, but Vader got in trouble and had to leave early. So then they like refunded me. I got to meet Harley Racer free, basically. This is the second photo oh, wow. I got when I met him. So was like was the there a long month. line to meet him? No, they, they told me a certain hour I had to come within, and I came like towards the end because I was meeting somebody else, and it was okay. actually short at that point. I'm sure it was in the beginning, though. You saw the King Harley Race when I showed at the end, yeah. right? Okay, so we're going to go to the next binder now. So. When you go to um, like a convention like this, yeah, do, how, many, how many autographs do you come away with? I, I usually try to go to the conventions for um, more of like pictures because like taking a picture with them because you can the autographs you can usually get cheaper from like a vendor or writing to them so yeah so you I, I might get photo. a few here I might I might get a few here or there but I'd rather try to focus on the photo because those conventions are really high priced like they instead of just saying like oh for both like for twenty dollars you can get both it's like yeah twenty for the photo twenty for the grant it's a stupid yeah yeah whenever <laughs> when I used to go to the uh, White Sox fest every year. Yeah, I, I want the pictures, not the autographs. Yeah, because I, I can I can get the autographs either by, by yeah, trying to write. Yeah, exactly. I can buy a baseball sign. Like um, that. Sometimes I go to a book signing. It's like I get the book, I get a picture, and they'll sign one or two extra items. So like that's a good way to get the. Oh yeah, pictures. there's ways. All right, this is the um we talked about last week. I showed you the like you know the blue twins, Jake and Eli, mm -hmm. when they were called the Harris brothers, though, and like yeah. they were in the NWO. All right, this one's signed by. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. okay, signed by three of them. Signed by Danny Davis, Jim Neidhart, and Bret Hart. Jimmy Hart didn't sign this one, but... It, I just watched their together. match from WrestleMania 3 last night, coincidentally. And that's, that's what this picture's from. It says WrestleMania yeah, 3. Yeah, that is awesome. This is another Hart Foundation one. This one's signed by Bret, Jim, and Jimmy. This is when they were the tag team champions. That's I might... Actually, those might that, be my favorites. That's a good Hart one to get. Foundation <laughs> ones. This is Dr. Harvey Wimpleman. I got not too long ago from like... Um, Someone's doing one of those signs at their store, and I, I wasn't there, but they mailed it to me though. So. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, because I wanted an upgrade because this is the only other Wimpleman I had. It was like a magazine page, and it was signed by. This must be Quang above here, because I guess that's the guy he managed, Quang. Yeah. So it was, it was nice to get the other one as a little bit of an upgrade. But I'll keep both. Though. This one's sure. Cool. Might as well. Right, this one's rare. Road Warrior Hawk. Wow. You don't see him much. He's hard to get. That's why he's so expensive. So. Yeah. All right, this is the Headbangers, Mosh and Thrasher. Mm-hmm. All right, these, these are rare guys. They were in the um, they were in the Rumble 96, and they appear in ECW a few times. They're called the Headhunters, or these mm -hmm. big fat guys who could do, like, moonsaults. Not sure if yep. you've heard of them. Oh, of course. They were just called, like, Headhunter A, Headhunter B or something. They could do a damage at Buffet as well. More dish, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And speaking of buffet, um, the Simone family, uh, I was at a convention time. They eat a lot, too. They're, like, at a buffet. They were, like, eating everything. <laughs> This is Samu and Fatu, the head shrinkers, when they were the tag team champions. Um, Samu was actually he was nice enough. I um, when I wrote to him. I always say sometimes I say like, hey, if you guys ever want your old matches, let me know. And like he gave me his ring worn robe. It was pretty. Was cool. one of them Rikishi? Yeah, that was Fatu. Fatu. So, okay. That was the guy. Yeah, he gained a lot. He he gradually gained weight, right? So this, yeah, this he, is the one. This is the one that was um, Fatu who he became. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, he so must have not, put on a lot of weight. He put a lot of weight, yeah. He, he started, well, you can see when he was the Sultan, he gained some weight. Yeah, true. And then when he was Rikishi, he really got blew up. Um, last week, I showed you the one heartthrob Antonio. This one's a combo of both of them, though. Hmm. This one's really tough to get. All right, I've never seen anything else before. This is the Heavenly Bodies. Jimmy Del Rey is a, yeah, he died a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. I never see any, this is the only time I got him is a magazine page. I can't find his autograph anywhere else. So I was lucky I actually found it once. So people would definitely be jealous of the heavenly bodies. They're hard to get. Is there anything that you you you're happy you got, but you think you overpaid for? Um, yeah, a little bit in some of them, but um, mm -hmm. like I said, I, I also I was fortunate enough to buy a lot of it pre-COVID, so like I haven't gotten killed like some of these other people. But yeah, sometimes I pay for something. Sometimes even I think it's a little bit rip off. Like say, I think the guys only were fifteen or twenty. I paid thirty. Like I'm mm. a little upset that, but sometimes even. But it, it is what it is. Though things have changed. Sure. But then it helps out too. I, I sell a little bit too, so help uh, you know to help buy some more. So that's good. Mm -hmm. All right. This is um, the new LOD. So it was Animal and Heidenreich. So Animal Heidenreich, kind on yeah. top. 
And Heidenreich's in the blue there in the bottom. So this is when they were the tag team champions. Mm -hmm. All right, this is just signed by Henry Godwin only. Okay. And oh, did you know the guy here, the manager guy was Uncle Cletus for a little bit. That was when they're heels. He actually was the guy that became the plumber, T.L. Hopper. And I do have him. So oh, yeah. Him. This is another rare tough one to get because he died in 2004. This is the Mighty Hercules. Oh, I would have liked that one. And then I got a second one of him that's a black and white one. This one, this one, this is a common photo. I've seen this one a lot. Like a lot of people have this thing. This yeah. Was he handed out. His neck is. Oh yeah, huge. he's he's strong. Do you prefer color or black and white? Or Col do you... Color for sure. Okay. But sometimes you gotta get what you can get. It's hard. Yeah, sure. All right, this is the Highlanders. Robbie and Rory, those guys. Um, Hillbilly Jim. Oh. He was pretty funny. Yeah. In fact, when I saw him at WrestleMania 17, he was in really good shape compared to some of the other guys. Remember the, the, the Legends Battle Royal for that? Yeah, show? that's right. It was, he, he's really, didn't like Iron Sheik win that or something? Yeah, he won. Yeah, he was okay. And Slaughter beat him up after, which was fun. Yeah, no. right, this is a rare one, too. This is Horse Hogan. Remember the guy that was in the NWL? Oh, yeah. Hulk, Hogan was Hulk Hogan's brother. All right, we got Honky Tonk Man. Nice. We got a second one of Honky. I used to have even more, but I don't need more than two honkies. That's enough. <laughs> yeah. This is Hornswoggle. Oh, when he's with WWE? Yeah, the little guy with Finley. Yeah. This is Howard Finkel. Oh. And on the back, got a nice whoever the guy was brought him in for the signing. Some guy called Jimmy D's Collectibles. So he has a picture of mm -hmm. this This is Hulk Hogan. Um, Killer B, Brian Blair gave this to me, actually. This really? How did, you, uh, how did you uh, come in contact with Brian Blair? It was the same thing when I did with when I did with Samu. Like a couple of these guys, they wanted some of their matches, so they mm -hmm. would give me some cool memorabilia in place um, as a trade, kind of. Oh, nice. And um, yeah, so he he actually gave me. I actually had his trunks to him, but I don't really had no use. So I actually trade that for something for some guy recently. Mm -hmm. But everything else he gave me, I kept. I kept that. He gave me a signed photo of himself. He gave me Mister Perfect's funeral mask card, which I'll get to that eventually. Okay. Point. Maybe tonight. Maybe not. It depends how we'll see how far we get. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is another Hogan. This is a nice one. This is like WrestleMania 7, I think, when he regained the title from Slaughter. Are Hogan autographs expensive? They're not as expensive as you think, but they generally go for about, I would say about 50, but um, that's if you find a good deal. But he, you can also buy from him directly at his shop. I think it's like 80 or $90 there. Oh, right? okay. This is a nice one, too. Um, it's signed by everybody except for Bam Bam. It's a Survivor Series 87 team. So it's Don Morocco here, Paul Orndorff, Hogan, and Ken Patera. So okay, Paul. I take back what I said. This is the one I want. And that one also you got the proof too of the um the JSA. You know, see that? Yeah, that, that is awesome. It would be nice if if if, if it had Bam Bam was still alive. That could yeah. have the complete team, but Seriously. that's still really awesome. That's still awesome though. This is another nice one. This came from Bud Carson from Pennsylvania. It's a magazine page signed by Hogan and Kurt Angle. Okay. I'm guessing it's from their King of the Ring 2002 match, but it could be a random SmackDown too. Who knows? Mm. <laughs> um, this is DX, both Hunter and Sean. Nice. And we got a second Hunter and Sean one. Nice. Yes. All right, we got the Hurricane. I used to have a couple of him, but I only kept one though. And did you trade the rest? Yeah, I either sold or traded them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one's a kind of rare one, too. Ice Train with Teddy Long. You don't see Ice Train too often, so he's kind of hard to get. Yeah. So, you mentioned selling. How often are you selling uh, these? I, I used to do it about – I used to put, advertise about once a month on some Facebook groups. And now I try to do it about like every Friday or Saturday because like I know there's people that are interested. But um, I actually made a couple of sales today, so now my inventory is low. I only have really have like 12 photos left for sale at this point, though. So it's not yeah, yeah. Enough. But that's a good thing, though. I don't want to keep yeah, the sure. – um, all right, this 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 needs to be talked about a lot. Also, also, Rob Feinstein was advertising Iron Mike Sharp. He's like, I've never seen it before. I actually have two of them, which is the funny thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, oh, you really? don't see them too often though. And I, I was comparing it. Mine looks more like the one Rob has. Okay. But um, another guy posted something. He had like this board thing. So I think his he might have a fake one or something like that because mine looks like the one he has. So this is this is Iron Mike Sharp. The you know the long time he was funny. He used to growl and go. Yeah. You remember him? He used to he used to wear that, that black band. wristband. Yeah, he, he was funny. So that's an eight by ten of him, and then I got this smaller photo thing too. I put it on the back of it. It's a black and white, like small photo. Mm. So he was, he, cool. was a great, he was a great gimmick. 
All right, this is the Iron Cheek. This is the Hogan, famous Hogan match. Oh, cool. This must be from like an independent show. I guess Sonny managed the Iron Cheek and Nikolai Volkov. That's pretty funny. Oh, my God. All three signed that, yeah. Jeez. It says Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov with the original Diva Sonny. So it must, it must have been some independent show. Yeah, but. yeah. All right, this one I actually, I actually sold one of these to somebody else recently because I have two of them, but now I have uh -huh. one. It's a combination of IRS and um, you know Michael Wall Street or VK Wall Street. They call yeah, it. yeah. This is a solo IRS. Oh, nice. Uh, this is a rare one too. This is Isaac Yankum. This was you know Kane played Doctor Isaac Yankum from WWF. So and he signed cool. it as Isaac. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, he wrote, he wrote, he wrote, he wrote I Yankum or something like that. Uh huh. All right, this is the Islanders, Haku and Tama. Yeah. They were a great tag team. And then I have a color photo one too, but it's a little bit more pixelated though. So this is the Islanders in color. Okay. Is that Bobby Heenan in the middle? Bobby's in the middle. He didn't sign this one. He but didn't sign it. You've seen Bobby sign a bunch of them already though. So you know mm -hmm. I got a couple of them. Totally. All right. There was a girls tag team, um, or ladies tag team, I should say, in the um, ladies called the Jumping Bomb Angels. Mm -hmm. I don't have them together, but I do have them individual. This one okay. is called, all right. I was, I'm apologizing if I'm pronouncing it wrong because I'm not familiar with Japanese that well. Sure. It's, it's Suki Yamasaki, okay? Sounds so this is, good this to is me. Jumping, this is Jumping Bombing Angel, Izuki Yamasaki, okay? Okay. Eventually, we'll find the second one, whatever, wherever she goes alphabetically. I don't remember her name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is Ivan Koloff, hmm. the Russian Ivan Koloff. Yeah. NWA, WCW. Another Ivan. We have Ivan Putsky. Uh, he did something cool on Tuesday Night Titans one time where he talked hmm. about the Polish heritage. He'd make like the food they had and he would do the oh, really? dance thing. It was pretty funny. With Vince oh, I, I used to love that show. I should check that one out. You should yeah. find that episode with Ivan Putsky. Yeah, yeah. This is Ivory. She was around like a, like a you know, a while in the late 90s and early 2000s. Yeah. I used to have more of her too, but I only kept the one. Um, well, I have her in the right to center one too. You'll see eventually. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is personalized to a guy named Dan. It's the referee Jack Doan. You don't see really much of him either. So this is interesting. Oh, yeah. Beth wishes Jack Doan. You don't Doan. know who Dan is. Don't. Uh, yeah, actually bought from the guy. The guy I bought from him actually didn't was Dan. So it came from oh, the okay. guy. Was... The guy who got him in person. This is the one I told you about last time. That I was waiting for, it, and it finally got here a few days ago. It's Jack Tunney, which is like impossible. So it's, see, it's signed right here, Jack Tunney. Oh, so it's God. a picture of Beefcake, Jack Tunney, and whoever the fan was that met them. So that's pretty cool. I don't know why they ever let uh, Jack Tunney hold a microphone or speak <laughs> on camera. He was looking at deer, of deer in headlights. Did he remind you of like a principal in his big terms? Like saying, oh, yeah. He, he seemed so confused. He was funny, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he's very hard to get, though. Like, Yeah, yeah. I've never seen really an 8x10 or magazine picture. I know some of this one guy... He had the one he sold to me. And there's another guy who got another one. The other guy's still waiting on his. But like those, are, we're probably the only two who really have him. That's like really noticed, noted to anybody. Mm -hmm. All right, this is the Jackal. Um, you know the manager, the Jackal. Yeah, he's with Kurgan in the picture. Just Jackal signed it though. Oh, is Jackal Don Callis? Yes, it is. It's Don okay. Callis. Yep. I actually had trouble finding him. I was looking for him for a while too. Yeah, and yeah. Finally, I found one. And it was like a magazine page, like a big face of him, which I I really didn't like the photo. I tried. So I eventually just actually just got rid of it because I kept advertising. No one was buying. I think I gave it to my brother as a gift or something like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I had a magazine page. I was just asking fifteen dollars for it. It's basically what I paid for it. And no one ever took it, so I just got stuck with it. But I got, I got the upgraded one here with the um Kurgan. You saw. Yeah. All right. This is Jacqueline. You know, she was around a long time. Even in the early nineties, she was around a long time. This is um Jacqueline and Terry both signed it. So they were the pretty pretty mean sisters. PMS. Oh, oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot that. That's a funny way they worded it. All right. This is Jake the Snake. I actually had another Jake the Snake from... Well, I have one more Jake the Snake now, but I had, I had a third one from my personal collection, but I just sold it. But the reason I sold it is because I just picked up... So I should have it, you know, next time we're ready. Mm -hmm. I got a, co a combo of Jake and Duggan, so that'll be interesting to see when I get that. Okay. I have a question here. So say you have, like, three Jake the Snakes. Yeah. How do you decide, like, after you've gotten one, his autograph, how do you decide that you're going to get another and another and another of Sometimes somebody? if I really like the photo or the pose or say it's signed by okay. multiple guys, I might want to add to it. Okay. Some guys are just like, you know what, one's good enough. But other ones, like, I'll try to get a few if it's, like, yeah. something I like. But um, if it's something impossible, like, like say, like Andre Giants are ridiculously expensive. And I, even right now, I only have this really small photo, which we'll yeah. eventually see. Um, 
that one I would definitely just go for one just because he's so – I wouldn't want to pay a lot kind of money for something like that. How much is an on, like something like uh, Andre Autograph? Yeah, he's, 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 in, he's insane right now. It's like I'd say minimum – 500 if you're lucky but probably like a thousand or two thousand no joke it's, it's but they are out there they're they're out there but and he, he the thing about him too is there's so many out there i don't know what's real and fake on him it's like hard to judge the, oh yeah you can't like maybe a lot of people tell. say a lot of people say too like they would hand him things and then they go into like a back room so i don't know if like some random person was signing as his ghost yeah signer, really. yeah okay the one i just showed you jake this is the wrestlemania 7 blindfold match with martel okay um this one's signed by two people. It's the middle is James J. Dillon, and mm -hmm. Ron Bass signed it. Black Bart's in the picture, too, but he didn't sign it. But we, we saw Black Bart autograph last time, so. Yeah, it. the Ron Bass one's good. All right, this is Jameson. Remember that geeky guy who's on Prime? Yeah, Prime? totally. He signs even like a nerd, too. Like, look at that. Look at that. It's like a little, like, five Like a little boy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, that's, that's clever. He may as well have put the E backwards. Did you know his son is actually the kid that was in the commercial with Cam Newton back in the day? I didn't know that. Oh, really? Yeah, this one's signed dark, so it's hard to see. This is Jamie Dundee, though. He was like the the tag team called PG thirteen. He mm -hmm. was the son of Bill Dundee. Oh, this is Jamie Noble. Yeah, it's a combo, Jamie Noble and Nidia. Oh, were they married or something? I don't think they were married, but they played a gimmick like where they were trailer park trash oh. and stuff like that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is the guy in ECW. He's called Jason. He used to say like. How do I look in my suit? <laughs> like, I act like old gays. And, and Joey Styles used to like hate this guy so much. He's yeah, like, he totally did. That's so funny. All right. This one's a tough craft to guess. Chief J Strongbow. And he's, as you can see, he signed it here like um, like on the bottom, like an appendix. It's not that clear of a signature. Yeah. He's hard to get, though. So it's the best I could do. Yeah, yeah. Um, This is Jazz. She's actually married to Rodney Mack in real life. I don't know if you know that. Oh, in real life? Huh. Yeah. This is, you know, the guy, um, what's his John name now? Le John Pierre Lafitte, Le Le but he's Point. called CPO or something? Yeah, Carl, Carl Pierre. He's CPO. You know that guy that's in the indies? Yeah, this yeah. Was, this was him. Okay. That was his pirate gimmick in 95. Yeah. Though, you know? This is a solo one of Jeff Hardy. Does he, did you compare it to his other signature? Is it... Yeah, it's, it's the, the same, same. or is it? And, and it's the same, and I've wrote him in the mail too. So like he's, it's all, it's all consistent. So okay, cool. This is Double J Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> this is an interesting one. It's Jeff Jarrett, Deborah, and Owen. Some people, a couple people have this signature. That's a pretty cool triple signature of all three. And obviously, Owen's impossible to get, you know. <laughs> and there's some information on the actual signing here on the back. Like what data was happened and the guys. And they send this. They include this. Yeah. When you okay. they pulled that when I bought the picture. Mm -hmm. This is Jeff Jarrett with um, Miss ja um, what was her name? Miss Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, that's right. Miss Kitty. This is a rare one. This is a guy who's a low card guy. His name was Jerry Allen. I think he died actually. Okay. So he's the guy right here working over. Um, I think he's facing Terry Gibbs. There, he's working over his arm. Hmm. Um, the King Jerry Lawler. Oh, nice. Second Jerry Lawrence when he inscribed the Hall of Fame on there, though. And we got a third Jerry Lawler. This is with against Jake, so I guess if I see Jake in person, we could try to add to that. Remember Jerry Lynn from um, sure the, from the ECW and also oh, yeah. yeah. This was that tag team from like the late 2000s, Jesse and Festus. So Jesse down there, Festus up here. Oh, Remember yeah. They, they would like ring the bell and Festus would wake up and go crazy. Yeah. This is um, Governor Jesse Ventura. He's with China. Just signed by Jesse, though. Oh, that's cool. I like that one. This is one Jesse signed for me in the mail. It's a picture. Um, it, it also, Monsoon's daughter gave me this picture, too. It wasn't signed by anybody. Uh -huh. But it had grill with it. So I just mailed it to Jesse and he signed it and sent it back. So Did cool. you mail it to his like, home or to his like I think it was his home office? I think it was his and home yeah how quickly did he send that back he's a couple weeks he's a good signer oh cool this is Jillian Hall remember she had a mole on her face at one time yeah this is jumping Jim Brunzel he sent me this it's like a little collage thing oh that's he's got really he's, nice. he's got beautiful penmanship look at that, there. that little signature it's pretty cool oh that's cool Jim Cornette Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Oh, nice. Another Hacksaw. 
a hacksaw and slaughter combo. Remember, they teamed up a little bit like in late 91, early 90s. Yeah, yeah. Jim the Anvil Nightheart, very nice pitcher. Oh, cool. Another Jim Nightheart, and I guess if I can meet Brett, he can sign it too. Nice heart sure. foundation one. It's a good one. They got the belts. Um, This was, all right, Jim Powers, I actually used to help him. Um, like find indie bookings and stuff like that. So he, oh really? Yeah, he gave me like six photos. I think I only kept like two or three of them now. Mm -hmm. but yeah, he signed originally to me and personalized it, and then I mailed this to Nikolai. Nikolai added to it. So this this oh power that's really directly. nice. Yeah, the photo came directly from Jim Powers though. This is another one Jim gave me. This is WCW promo picture, and I think I does kept he, one of his Young Stallion ones too. Yeah, what about him? Does he live like? near you yes he's about 20 okay. minutes from me he lives Got by it. um he lives by right by where the giants and jets play he lives like two minutes mm. from there oh cool um this is jim ross he even signed the hall of fame inscription nice this is jimmy garvin with precious this is a pretty cool mouth of the south jimmy hart one. Oh, that is awesome is it signed right in his chat like on the middle yeah, of right chat? on his chest and below that is really nice yeah i i, I had actually had a i sold recently sold another jimmy hart i like this mm -hmm. one i got it i'm like i'm gonna keep this one and sell one of my old ones okay this one that one that one's really nice i like it just like you do this is another jimmy hart one he got a nice inscription mouth of the south oh, all nice. of pain seven five and that's the end of that one. I guess I'll start another one. Then you just let me. We got like five minutes or so. Well, we're gonna have to make this a trilogy. Yeah, we'll continue. All right. Yeah, it's it's it's. We'll give everybody a break until uh, part three. Yeah, it's good. So it's gonna take multiple parts, guys. But just be patient. Yeah, we'll get through it though. I have and, the time. And, and, I, and I like I like your insight and questions and things you bring up. So that's always cool, man. So do you, do you have any? Uh, specific things you want to talk about from what you saw today, or um, no? I, I mean, I, I pretty much was just asking them as I as I was going along. Um, what are you wait? Are you waiting on anything coming? Yeah, yeah I told you before. So, like I said, I'm gonna get another Jake the Snake with combination with Jim Duggan. Okay, okay. So like background. So I will show you that. And um, the one two four horseman I told you about before too. That's gonna be a cool one that um, I plan on getting soon. Oh, that'd be awesome. And then we'll see. We'll see if Dwayne Gill sends me that Toxic Turtle one too. So, oh yeah, oh, Remember, let me you, ask you, you have to check the DVD out to see that matchup again. <laughs> and did you did you say you have a, a DVD collection? Yes. Are we going to be able to see that eventually? Yes, we will get to that too. So, okay, I guess, cool. <laughs> we're working parts? towards there. This will be many parts, but in the end, it's it'll fine. be all worth it, though, for you to check out the fantasy. And I, I know you appreciate it. So it's... the Chicago Bulls documentary was, you know, ten hours long. We'll be able to get. To <laughs> yeah, we got fine, time. You know. We got time. Uh, all right. Well, thank you so much. We'll schedule part three soon yeah. and um, have a great weekend. No problem. And then just tell the fans if they if they leave you any comments and or questions, they can you can actually bring up on the next show then and we'll just answer anything if they want to see anything, if they have Perfect. questions. Perfect. Cool I'll, I'll reach yeah. out. Thank thank you, Brad. This this has been a pleasure though. I really enjoyed doing this with you and um we'll just keep going. We'll you know what we'll, we'll be multiple parts. That's the awesome. We'll see you next time. All right, thank you. Take all care. Right, bye. bye.